शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमा जगद्व्यापिनी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अभयता जाढ़्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटक मलिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा गवा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्याकोम्यहम पाणिनी प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी संधि सो वी लुक एट विसर्ग संधि एंड द लास्ट सूत्र वी सॉ वॉज हली सर्वेशम बिफोर दिस वी सॉ भो भगो अगो अपूर्व से योशी एंड देन इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट in that context there will be sutra applicable which is loka shakalya and that was dealt with by lagukara earlier elsewhere but after this sutra skipping loka shakalya because he is already covered that he goes to hali sarvesham hali sarvesham kim bhavati bho bhago bhago apurvasya vyoho lopa bhavati and vakar examples may not be there in the language so he says yakarasya yasya bho bhago bhago apurvasya yasya yakarasya लोप सैद हली परे एंड एग्जांपल आर गिवन एंड भो देवा भगो नमस्ते अघो या ही ऑल दीज आर संबोधना नेक्स्ट सूत्र इज रो सुपी रो सुपी से इज जस्ट ए सेकेंड सुर रो सुपी सूत्र is what raha asupi that is the padacheda and if you go to 8269 the sutra 8269 is raha asupi what is the anuvritti here you see ahan ahan goes till Sixty-nine. This entire sutra. So only number is marked here. Meaning the entire sutra is a single word. Ahan, ahan shabda, ahan shabda, ahan is pratipadi ka. Or uh, ahan is we say aha. It becomes aha to mean day. So what happens? Ahan, ahan raha supi. Uh, yeah. So. अहन रसुपी एंड वॉट एल्स इज एन सॉरी अहन अहन इज लुप्त षष्टी निर्देश देर अहन फॉर अहन शब्द सो फॉर अहन शब्द अहन अहन शुड बी अंडरस्टूड एज सिक्स वन षष्टी एक वचन इट्स अ स्थानी अहन सी से अहन अन्ना दैट्स मीन अन्ना षष्टी एक वचन अहन इज कन्वर्टेड टू षष्टी एक वचन शुड बी अंडरस्टूड एज षष्टी एक वचन देशोर अन्ना रेफा देश भवती न तो सुपी असुपी मीन्स वेन ओनली वेन सुप डज नॉट फॉलो वेन सुप डज नॉट फॉलो देन सो न तो सुपी मीन्स वेन सुप फॉलोज That time Rafa Desha does not take place. That's why you get a uh, ahan uh, becomes aha ha. We'll see how that happens. Uh, so raha asupi na tu supi na Rafa Desha sayat na tu supi asupi is not when sup follows. Sup pratya follows then nakara ahan ahan takes Rafa Desha means what uh, by alone just say nakara the nakara of ahan shabda takes Rafa Desha raha. So when you are deriving example, he is giving is ahar ahara. So look at the ahar aha, ahan, ahan. So ahan and ahan. Add them together. So every day you want to say every day. So ahan one day and then ahan another day. So ahan ahan is what every day. That is the Uh, that's the repetition there. When you say day by day or every day, 
the way we saw earlier the with prati um, not not here elsewhere we saw that uh, when we saw sarvasya dve that time we had seen that sarvasya dve and there uh, some kind of a vipsa here it is some kind of a vipsa so there is repetition ahan ahan so ahan and ahan uh, this ahan that is following this is what no basically if it is ahan plus ahan is um you want to say every day so this nakara when ahan is following here ahan is following which is ahan is not a supratya therefore asupi asupi condition is met therefore ahan ahan iti shabdasya ahan parata asupi ahan parata nakarasya ahan is the refadesha is for ahan and by alontyasya the nakara here will take refadesha so it will become ahar it will become ahar what about this ahan now the second ahan is also what is not followed by supratya here what is it followed uh, by uh, actually just let me nitya vipsyo okay just let me check that sutra there is a sutra by which uh, nitya vipsyo so 814 okay so there is a sutra 814 which says um sveshin sarvasya dve c814 in the 81 section i had just explained this that there is the section virukti prakaranam where sarvasya dve this sarvasya dve has an anurutti till 15 so whatever this amreditam or whatever uh, in which it's a nitya vipsa is another sutra where uh the sarvasya nitya vipsayo sarvat sarvasya dve bhavati and thereby we get this ahan ahan here that's how we got this ahan ahan and then what happens to the uh so this is nitya vipsayo by that you got ahan and ahan repetition and this earlier one took refa desha ahan took refa desha and the second one also now when uh just just give me a moment it is a little confusing here i did not check this sutra there are more sutras involved here okay uh <coughs> sorry okay so the see the reason it is confusing is that this should have a supratya this ahan should have a supratya but uh, in this case what happens is that uh, it's a napunsaka shabda and ahan plus su what happens is that uh, swamor napunsakat see this this is actually these sutras we'll see in the next section where we'll uh, uh, derive words in the Uh, when we look at subanta derivation therefore uh, i didn't want to cover lot of sutras here but then we have to justify as to why asupi this asupi has to be justified in this case that's why some sutras um, additionally we may have to see but these are uh, sutras which come in subanta prakarana and then lot of other sutras have to be known to see those um because is samor napunsaka there is one sutra after napunsaka the uh, su and am pratya su and am pratya is a prathama ek vachana and dvitiya ek vachana pratya so ahan ahan or ahan plus su ahan plus su there this vipsa we got by that but there there is a sup sitting here also otherwise you can't just add two pratipadikas these are padas so ahan plus su and ahan plus su 
but it is not a samasa it is uh, a vipsa where you repeat the word twice so for example if i'm uh, uh, thinking of uh, rama i say rama rama so rama rama is that it's a padam rama is a padam there and it is a sambodhana similarly here day by day when you say ahan ahan every day uh, thereby ahan plus su is there so although i didn't write here there is a su here ahan plus su and there is an ahan plus su here also ahan plus su so both are ahan ahan here are ahan plus su and this there is no uh, plus here really so what happens there samor napunsakat by samor napunsakat there is sup look this samo samor after a napunsaka pada the supratya which supratya su and am that is swam su and am which is prathama ekvachana and dvitiya ekvachana they undergo look they they are elided now when they are elided the question will come is that na lumatangasya this pratye lope pratye lakshanam pratye lope pratye lakshanam there we see that although see in samasa in samasa what did we see that when you make a samasa although there is supluk within the samasa krut taddit samasascha pratipadikam so there earlier we may have done somewhere so uh, let's say uh, archah samasa krut taddit samasascha let where did we see vishnu strata even before that or okay, let me okay lakshmi chaya here i just didn't want to type much so see lakshmi aha chaya lakshmi chaya here what happened uh, i didn't write the supratyas here uh, earlier yeah here see shivasya chaya shivasya chaya shiva plus nyas plus chaya plus su here what did we say this is krutaddita samasa samasascha pratipadikam sanyakam bhavati so this is that's a pratipadika sanya in this shiva shiva plus nyas it's a padam suptingantam padam and chaya plus su is also padam suptingantam padam but shiva plus nyas plus chaya plus su which is padam plus padam by krut taddita samasascha it becomes pratipadika and in pratipadika there is supluk in uh, in dhatu in a dhatu and in pratipadika sup undergoes look sup pratyas do not exist thereby we took away nyas and su now whenever any uh, jhalam jashwante let's say jhalam jashwante is applied here this jhalam jashwante is for padanta sandhi so shiva shiva shivat so shivat chaya that shivat here how did this takara become dakara how did tak- takara become dakara so there uh, wherever we have to make the sandhis jhalam jashwante of course uh, there uh, ante and uh, some other uh, rule may also some, something else may also be following jhali uh, but let's say you have to apply some padanta sandhi maybe not in this example but somewhere you have to apply a padanta sandhi shiva plus nyas although nyas pratya has undergone elision still we say pratye lope pratye lakshanam although pratye lopa has happened still uh pratye lakshana is there and thereby shiva without this nyas pratya remaining although nyas has undergone lopa still this shiva within this samasa is a pada now apply that idea this is a puro paksha that apply this idea here also ahan plus su ahan plus su how do you say asupi here that sup has gone but can you not still say that there is sup there you cannot so there he says you cannot because after samor napunsakat so here what will happen is that i'll just make it ahan ahan now this is by which sutra this is the by sutra samor samor napunsakat napum sakat there is look look happens there and now this ahan this ahan is asup it is not asup but still 
can't you say that this ahan has a supratya following no because there is a sutra na lumatangasya thereby pratya lakshana cannot be carried so na lumatangasya is a sutra i just explain the meaning there na lumatangasya 1163 so pratye lope pratye lakshanam bhavati na tu lumatangasya lumata is what when uh, see okay 1163 let me show you in the sutra pata 1163 Yeah. So here in one one sixty three, there is a uh, there is a sutra pratyasya lukshu lopaha. First of all, what is lopaha is explained. Adarshanam lopaha. Lopa is adarshanam. What was existing earlier and now it is not seen. It is not seen as adarshanam is ashrutam. It is not heard because in Vyakarana it it is a shabda which is uttered. So adarshanam is not really not seen but it is you don't cognize and cognition of a shabda is what it is hearing so ashrutam what is not heard which was heard earlier during the prakriya avastha something you was heard you say that i have added this pratya and that that pratya you take away so here in our case we said ahan su ahan su this su is unheard now therefore it is adarshanam when you say ahan 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 su ahan su ahans ahans that has become ahan ahan why because samor napunsaka luk so luk is also what lopa sometimes lopa what is that pratyasya lukshlu lupa and adarshanam adarshanam goes till in 61 pratyasya adarshanam lukshlu lupa the adarshana of a pratyaya lopa is general definition what is lopa elision elision as in you uh, you don't hear the word adarshanam there is adarshana of something but if that adarshanam is of pratyaya pratyasya adarshanam bhavati chet lukshlu lupaha lukshlu lupaya sanya luk it can be luk is also pratyaya adarshanam can is called as luk shlu or lupa or lup so lupa basically lupyate shlu is we see in uh, shlu is a mechanism by which you elide and luk is another mechanism by which it is a sanya pratyasya adarshanam is called as luk shlu or lupa now next next shloka is said pratyay lope pratyay lakshanam even when pratyay lopa has happened still pratyay lakshana is there but the next sutra is a nisheda of that we have used this pratyay lope pratyay lakshanam in uh, when you elide a pratyay within the within the uh, compound samasa that time we have seen that although uh, the supratyay brought the pratyay padasanya within the samasa for two padas till even after you uh, make lopa of the pratyaya still padasanya remains however na lumatangasya this sutra says na lumatangasya kim pratyay laksh pratyay lope pratyay lakshanam na bhavati lumatangasya and what is lumata lumata is lumat lumata lumata is third case of lumat and lumat is what uh, lumat is मतुपंत सो मतुपंत मीन्स वॉज लू मत लू मत इज हैविंग लू दैट विच हैज लू मतुपंत पद एंड तृतीय लुमतांग सो दैट से इज दैट लुमतांग लुमतांग से प्रत्यय लोपे प्रत्यय लक्षण न भवती एंड वॉट इज दैट लुमत दैट इज एक्सप्लेन एज लुमता ओके लुमता शब्द लुप्ते प्रत्ययदंगम तस्य प्रत्यय लक्षण कार्य न होती दट कार्य विच इज प्रत्यय लक्षण कार्य दैट विल नॉट हैपन वेन लुमता लुमता इज इंडिकेटेड बाय लू इत्यादि सो नॉट इंडिकेटेड दी बाय दी बाय दी वर्ड्स ऑफ लू लुक्ष सो लू लू इज वॉट द थ्री वर्ड्स कंटेनिंग लू विच आर दिस थ्री वर्ड्स कंटेनिंग लू this loo is one look look loo 
shlu lu and lup lu. So lumat is that which has this look, shlu or lup. All three are containing lu and lu asyasti iti lumat. Tena lumata. If the elision is done by uh, look, shlu or lup, then this condition of pratye lupa pratye lakshanam does not hold. That's what it means. Since we have not seen this, I had to mention this. Otherwise, the doubt can come here in our Prakruta Sutra, which is Rho Supi. There, Ahan plus Su and Ahan plus Su, this Ahan plus Su, this, it is a Padam alright. But still, this Su, even after Su goes, you cannot say Su is still there. You cannot say Supratya is still sitting here, because it has undergone look and look is what? Look is lumat. So lumata by this samor napunsakat lumata. Lumata uh, adesha bhavati. There adesha is with the look which is a lumat. Therefore pratye rope pratye lakshanam does not hold good and therefore ahan is not following, uh, is not followed by sup but is followed by asup, asupi. So therefore ahan is asup here. And after this also there is no soup because uh, it has been, there is a look there. Therefore, by Lumat there was an elision done and thereby Pratye Lope Pratye Lakshanam will not apply. So I will write here Pratye Lope Pratye Lakshanam Na Bhavati Na Lumatangasya Na Lumatangasya Kim na bhavati pratye lope pratye lakshanam na bhavati. Pratye ya lope su pratye lakshanam. That is the sutra there. Anuvrutti is pratye lope pratye lakshanam. That does not happen. No. So this no, we will go lumatangasya. Pratye lope pratye lakshanam na. Thereby, ahan is followed by asup now. And this ahan is also followed by asup. Therefore, you will get ahar ahar. 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 Now, what happens with this repha? This repha will remain repha. There is this varna milana, ahar ahar. But what happens with the second repha here? You will get ahar ahaha. Because this repha will become visarga. And thereby you will get ahar ahaha. So that's the example here. Now what about ahar ganaha? With ahar gana also, ahar gana is what? Uh, it's a samasa now. Ahar ganaha. There is a samasa. Ahan plus Nyas Os Aam. Nyas Os Aam. Nyas Shakti Ekvachana. So Gana of days. Gana means what? Samuha. Samuha of, uh, uh, of days. Therefore, this Samasa is what? Gana plus Su. Now what happens? Ahan. And Gana, this will become Ahan and Gana. Then Gakara is following here. Pratye Lope, Pratye Lakshana will not apply because Angasya Karya, Anga Karya. See, in, uh, in a Samasa also, when this is Pratye Lope, Pratye Lakshana means that Padasanya will hold. But Anga Karya you cannot do based on that. Uh, Anga Karya you cannot do Lumata Angasya. Angasya I will uh, tell you the Kashika Vritti for this, for Nalumata Angasya. It says, just a second, let me open Kashika. Yeah, Purvena Ati Prasaktam Pratye Lakshanam Iti Visheshe Pratishedha Uchyate, Lumata Shabdena Lupte Pratyeye Yadangam Tasya Pratye Lakshanam Karyam Na Bhavati. So, Pratye Lakshana Karya. See, Sanya is not a Pratye Lakshana Karya. It is a Sanya. So, Pada Sanya is there. Now, Pratye Lakshana Karya. Sandhi Karya which is happening, that is not a Pratye Lakshana Karya. 
it has nothing to do with the pratyaya whenever in uh, uh, in the derivation here now when we are doing a sandhi between these two then the sandhi is not based on the pratyaya even if the pratyaya is not there sandhi will still happen if it is at the padanta padanta sandhi will happen it has nothing to do with the pratyaya here therefore pratyaya lakshana karyam uh, pratyaya lope pratyaya lakshana karyam na bhavati here naluma tamasya here what is said here is that the lopa of uh, supratyaya has happened here therefore sup which is present here if you say sup is there sup is no longer there but now this pada sanya can interact with this gana shabd gana here because it is not a pratyaya lakshana sandhi here there is no pratyaya which is involved in the sandhi definition and what happens here now here gana is asup it is asupi pare you will get ahar refa desha you will get refa desha and ahar gana ahar gana so this is the sandhi here and then ahar gana can be declined further by adding su because it is a pratipadika niya pratipadika su ujas ityadi and you will get ahar gana ha षष्टी तत्पुरुष ओके वॉट एल्स इज देर सो दिस इज षष्टी तत्पुरुष ऑफ दिस अन्नाम गण What other example does Kashika give? Okay, so he, uh, I think Asupi Kim is not there. Let's look at Asupi Kim. So other example he gives, I'll just mention this. <coughs> Ahar Dadati. <coughs> Ahar Bhumte. So these are other examples that Kashika gives. Further he asks, he asks, Asupi Iti Kim. Asupi Iti Kim. So counter example as to why Asupi has been said. So he gives an example with Sup there. Ahan plus Bhyam. So which can be a तृतीया चतुर्थी और पंचमी द्विवचन वॉट विल हैपन फॉर अहन प्लस भ्याम इस दिस भ्याम इज अ सुप्रत्य देर फॉर वॉट विल हैपन अह विल नकारा दिस नकारा वॉट विल इट टेक इट ओके नाउ वी हैव टू डिराइव दिस Uh, let me see if i can find an example which does not need Okay. Uh, here there is an issue. Okay. Okay. I'll just explain this. Uh, let's say let's go back a little. Here also, see uh, the difference between refa and ru. See this. What is the adesha here? The adesha is not is refa all right, but it is not a ru adesha. Or see, just to clear. just to be clear that this is a refa adesha it is not a ru adesha now when you are deriving a uh, say first case ahan plus su what will happen there with ahan plus su in ahan plus bhyam also same thing is going to happen you will in what is the form for ahan shabda ahan shabda when you derive what is the form you get you get ahaha anni ahani so that 
first case, so first case of ahan shabda is what? Ahaha. Ahaha. And what did we get here? We also, here also we got ahaha. Now here this, uh, here it may be said to be a supratya, aharahaha, but, okay, let me just uh, move forward here with ahobhyam itself. Let's see with ahobhyam. But in first case also, ahaha, you get ahaha. But this ahaha is not ahan shabdas, this ahan, ahan shabdas nakara is not replaced with na, is with repha. Because this, this current sutra will give you what? It will give you repha desha. Ru will also give you repha desha. Ru will also give you repha desha. But it is not Ru, it is not Ru Adesha, here it is Refa Adesha. Now consider Ahobhyam. With Ahar, in the first case, with both sutras you may get the same form. But with Ahan what happens? With Ahan plus Bhyam. So, hmm, Since Ahan Shabda is another difficult Shabda, Anchu Dhatu, Ahan Shabda, these are all have, uh, there are a lot of, uh, lot of Sutras involved. Let's go back to our Sutra, which is what, uh, 8 to 69. So we went back to first chapter to look at the Nalumatangasya, but 8 to 65. So 60, not 65, 69, yeah, sorry. So here we saw Ahan, this Ahan Sutra is there. What does this Ahan Sutra say? A to, what is the Anurutti here? Ahan. <coughs> Ahan Shabda, 67, here you have. See, Saso Jusho Ruhu. Sasa Jusho Ruhu. This Ruhu goes till 71. Okay. <coughs> and in 71, till 71 it goes, yeah. So Ruhu Asupi, there also, this, uh, Ahan, Ahan will have Ru Adesha. So Ahan Shabda can get Ru Adesha, but here Asupi it gets Raha, Raha Adesha, not Ru. Although Ru has Anurutti here, Ru is replaced by Raha. Raha is the uh, Adesha, Raha, Raha is the Adesha here. So why is it said that? Repha is already ordained by Ru. Ru is also the content of Ru is Repha. And the content of this sutra is what? Content of this sutra is also Repha. Adesha. I mean content of this Adesha by this sutra is also Repha. Here also you have Ru Adesha. The content is Repha. But why did he write this sutra? Raha. So Ahan followed, when it is followed by Supratya, that time you will have Ruha Desha, content is re, Repha, but when it is followed by a non-sup, then that time it is Repha Desha, but not content is Repha. Here the content is Repha, it is not Ru Repha. That is the difference. And what difference that makes will be seen when you take say uh, the Ahan plus Bhyam. If the uh, here, Ahan plus Bhyam, if Asupi was not said, then in Sup, when Sup also follows, you would have got Ru Adesha. By which Sutra? By this Sutra. By 8 to 68, you would have got Ru Adesha, Ru Adesha and not Raha Adesha by this. So what is the difference? I told you in last Pata or last couple of Patas that Ru and Raha, there the difference is some sutras will apply only to Repha of Ru, while other sutras will apply to Repha from anywhere. Just Repha has to be there. It does not matter whether it is a Ru Repha or just a plain Repha. But some sutras like, for example, what we saw earlier, uh, somewhere we had seen, I had mentioned this last time, that Rohoru, this 
this ator or apluta or aplute. See, ru refers to it. Mentioned this parasya roho, why roho? Ruhu refers to only that will get a ataha raha. Roho, why roho? Because roho is sixth case shakti ekvachana of ru. Content is refa, but this is a ru refa. Ru refa seva u syad. Not for refa which is plain refa. Therefore, this atoror aplutad aplute will have pravrutti only when the refa is a ru. Not when the refa is of just a plain refa. Now you look at this asupi if it is not given then in sup also you will have ru. Right? Uh, you will have raha. You will have here sup is following. So what is desirable here? You want ru adesha here not refa adesha. Therefore if this sutra didn't have asupi then it would have taken refa adesha. If it takes refa adesha what, what is the form you will get? This will be replaced by refa. Then ahar bhyam you, you will get ahar bhyam. Why? Because uh, ahar is refa which is ator roar apluta aplute will not apply there and you will hashicha will also not apply there because this refa is which refa? It is a plain refa, it is not a ru refa. See ator roar apluta aplute and there is another sutra which was hashicha. So both will not have pravrutti because both work only on the refa which is of ru. Ru refa se matra uh, udadesha bhavati. Here, this cannot be a refa adesha of, ru, uh, of this by this sutra. It cannot be a plain raha refa adesha, but it is a ru adesha. Therefore, asupi, asupi only there is a refa adesha, but when sup follows, when bhyam, which is a sup pratya that follows, then this ru is what? It is a uh, refa is u refa. There is an aharu. You will have ahan plus bhyam will take adesha of ru. You will get Ru Bhyam, which will become Ahar Bhyam, and then it will become Aha Aha plus U. Ut, Utadesha will happen there. Aha and Utadesha will happen, and there will be Bhyam here. So I should not mix this up. I'll keep you can write Ahar Bhyam and then Aho Aha plus U. Bhyam, by which sutra here you, you will get Hashicha. When a Hash Prat, Hash, Hashicha, Hashicha, what will happen? Ato, Roho, Ato Roar, Ato Roar, Apluta, Aplute, Ato Roho, Udadesha Bhoti. So, roar, aplutad. There is aplutad, aplutad is not needed. What we need is atoroho, utadesha. Utadesha bhavati. Thereby you will get ut. And this ut, akara and ukara will take guna and ahobhyam you will get. This is the form ahobhyam. Otherwise you will get aharabhyam. So, this is the counter example. What is the question, sir? Why is not taken in Visarga Sandhi means what? What is not taken in Visarga Sandhi? I don't understand the question. Please uh, ask a complete question. Why is what not taken in Visarga Sandhi? Why is Ahan not taken? Sutra. You have to ask Lagukara, how can I say why is Ahan not taken? Lagukara talks about 1200 sutras. Which sutra he talks about, we, we don't know. Lagukara has his own thinking of what to talk about when. Now he is talking about some Sandhi where he does not think uh, Ahan is important there. So he, he has dealt with sutras which are important for him in his prakriya, whatever he thought about, he, he decided on those sutras. He has not considered a lot of sutras that we have seen, but why, which sutra is not dealt with in Lagu is not the scope of this class, sorry. So, we don't know. I can't give you an answer why he has not taken, because I don't know what he thought. So, by some thinking, he has 
uh, he has decided a sequence, not that he has decided a sequence, he has, the sequence was decided by Siddhanta Komudikara and out of which uh, Lagukara has uh, taken some sutras which he thought are important, some as in 1200 out of 4000 sutras. So what about the rest of the sutras, we do not know how, by what uh, reasoning he decided that these are important, whatever be the reasoning he has decided. And I cannot even say that Ahan is not there, it may be there later because he may deal with it in, uh, uh, I do not know because I have not studied the entire Lagu Prakriya, I have studied Ashtadhyayi mechanism. So I do not know which all sutras are going to come up. So in, if he comes to across that sutra, we will look at it. It does, does not help us anyway, why he has not covered. So anyway, so that is Ahobhyam and uh, what else does uh, Kashika Kara say there? Kashika Kara, does he deal with something else there? Okay, I think uh, that is sufficient for this sutra because Ahan itself how many times we will see uh, difficult forms, we have to know the forms through, uh, we are not going to derive them now anyway. So, next sutra is Rori. So, what does Rori do? Rori 8314. 8314. See, 8314 is Sutra Rori. So, Dhode Lopa Rori. Dhode Lopa. Dhepare Dhakarase Lopa Bhavati. And then this Lopa goes to 14. Rori. Refa pare, refasya lopa bhavati. That's all the sutra says. So, dhakara and dhakara, when you have, uh, have two dhakaras in sequence, then first dhakara undergoes lopa. Similarly, when you have refa and refa, then the first refa undergoes lopa. Therefore, rori, rori is what? Re, raha. Raha, re pare, lopa bhavati. Lopa is the adesha here. Rai Shashti Kochana, Ri is Saptami Kochana. Let me check if uh, it does not matter, but some places it may matter. Just let me confirm that in Rori, it is first Rai Sap, because see the effect will be same. Even this is Panchami, the effect may seem same, but it may have some technical reasons why this has to be Shashti. Otherwise also we can, uh, what happens whether the first Rai Pa is elided or the second Rai Pa is elided. That is a question there and here it is a first ray power. We need first ray power to go. Therefore, the Lopa is the Adesha and Lagukara says Refasya Refa Refe Pare Lopa Hasyat. He does not give any example because he is going to take the example in the uh, next sutra. So, we will uh, not uh, write that sutra here, uh, not write that example here, we will see in the next sutra itself. Next sutra is Dhalope Purvasya Dhirgonaha. Dhalope Purvasya Dhirgonaha. What does it say? This Dhod, see we have seen Dhode Lopaha. So, Dhode Lopa, Rori Lopaha. These two are, can be dealt with together. And what happens, see although we are in Tripadi, not seen by the earlier sutra. However, here there is an exception because we find uh, a couple uh, that has no other application but only only when this sandhi happens. This particular sandhi happens, uh, dhakara lopa or refa lopa, then another sutra sets in. When that sutra sets in, like what we saw Ator or Apluta Aplute, last time we saw that Ator or Apluta Aplute, there also uh, even if there is a Tripadi Karya, still you may have uh, the Sutra of the Anga Karya applying because the, if it does not have any other 
place that it can apply. This particular case is also similar. Here, dhalope purva se dhirgo anha this sutra can apply only when dhalopa or rephalopa happens. So, dhalope purva se dhirgo anha the uh, lagukara says dhakara, see dha re, rephayoho means dhakara rephayoho lopa nimittayo ho purvasya anaha dhirgaha bhavati. So, dhirga anaha is anapratyara. When anapratyara letter is followed by a what purvasya anaha dha dhakara or repha lopa dha repha yo ho lopa nimitta yo ho. Once there is a lopa nimitta. This lopa nimitta is only from this sutra. Rori Rori or Dhode. So Dhode he is not talking about here. He is talking about Rori here. But when Dha Lopa or Ro Lepa, uh, Refa Lopa, uh, Lopa happens, then that becomes what? Lopa Nimitta. That Lopa Nimitta causes this Ana to un Pratyahara letter to take Dirga. Purvasya Ana. So that An which precedes the uh, Refa or Dhakara which has undergone Lopa. Very interesting. When Refa or Dhakara has undergone Lopa, then preceded by that, meaning that which has undergone Lopa, that is also counted and preceding that unletter takes Dirga. So this example we have seen Punaha Ramate. Punaha Ramate is Punar Ramate. Punar is the Pratipadi Kader. Punar is the Pada there. So, so Punar is uh, the uh, Punar itself is the content. So when you add, so that it is not Punaha. Punaha Puna is also Punar Punar and then it becomes Punaha Punaha. So here in Punaramate what happens? Example is what? We will take these three examples. Punar Ramate. So Refa and Refa are there. So when Refa follows a Refa, what happens? It undergoes Lopa. This first Refa has undergone Lopa, you will get Punaramate. Then this Akara is an unletter. This Akara is an unletter. Puna, Puna, uh, that Puna Nakara para Akara is an unletter. Since A E Un is Un. A E Un is Un. So he takes two, three examples, a, e, and u. What will happen here? Puna ramate. So it will become dirga. What is dirga for a? Is a. Puna. Puna ramate. So what do we understand by puna ramate? There is no word puna. It's not where our Kalyanji stays. Puna, pune, whatever. It is puna ramate. So puna ramate is what punar ramate has become puna ramate. Similarly, Hari Ramya. Hari Ramya is what? Hari is not dual here. Hari is not dual. It is Haris Ramate. So, Haris Ramate. Haris is what? Hari plus Su is Haris Ramate. Haris is Harihi. So, I will just mention in bracket otherwise. So, Harihi. Haris Ramate. Hari is what? Harir Ramate. How did it become Harir Ramate? By Kharavasane or Visarjaniya. Then Harir Ramate will become Hari Ramate by Rori. By Rori. Here also Rori. This was Rori. And then next sutra, our sutra, Dralope Purvasya Dirgonaha. I didn't mention here Dralope. So Saptami Ekvachana. Dralope Purvasya. Purvasya Dhirga is the Adesha. Purvasya Anaha. Purvasya Anaha is also Shashti Ekvachana. Purvasya Anaha Dhirga Bhavati. So that sutra applies here. And similarly with Ukara. A, E, Un. With Ukara also. Ukara is what? Say Shambhu. Shambhur, Shambhus, Supratya, Shambhus, Rajate. So Shambhus, Rajate will become what? Shambhu. Shambhur Rajate, okay, here and then Hari, Hari will become Ikara Dirga, Ikara Hari Ramate, 
Similarly here, Shambhu Rajate will become what? Shambhu Rajate and then Shambhu Rajate, then it will take Dirgha and become Shambhu Shambhu Rajate. Now what does he, he himself raise the question Anahakim, why is An mentioned here? He takes other examples. What is the example here? Trudaha. So, Trudaha, Ru he takes. After An you get Ru. What happens with Ru here? Trudha. Okay, here I need to check what has happened here. What is the? So, Trudaha. Hmm. Okay, so uh, derivation is a little. So Trudaha with this uh, uses the Dhodi Sutra. Okay, let me check what is the Dhatu there. Truda uh, there are too many Sandhi Sutras here. Uh, okay, Trud. What happens here with Trud? So, Trud may be the Dhatu there. Trud is what? Trud. Trud Dhatu. Trud. Trud may be the Dhatu. So, okay, I'll just mention there. Uh, I'll not go into all the sutras. Mm. Sivrud. Okay, uh, let's take the See, uh, must be Vrud, uh, Trid Dhatu perhaps, or Vrud in Vrud also, Vrud the Dhatu would be. Uh, okay, these are sutras that uh, Laghu does not cover, but what is happening here is that, see, Trid, in some, some way, let's say, you have reached Trid. Trid plus Ta. See, what happened is Ta. Ta, ta Pratyaya content is what? The, the the so this the pratya content is the and what happens to that the it becomes dhakara in sandhi it will also become dhakara so when it becomes dhakara it also becomes dhakara now dhode lopa dhode Lopa, thereby this Dhakara will undergo Lopa by Dhode Lopa. So you will get Thridha. Thridha. So by what? Dho. Dhode Lopa. That Sutra which uh, Lagukara does not cover here. So he says Thridha. That's the form there. Thridha. So it means uh, person who is uh, hurt or you know is killed or something so that kind of meaning is there Vruda also so Vrud plus Dha Dhode Lopa happens and then what will happen should it, this Purva say Anaha Dirga no because it is there is no An Ru is not part of An Pratyara therefore Trud remains it remains Truda there is no Dirga there there is no Dirga there similarly Vrudaha Ruda also after there is no here also there is no Dhode Lopa applies but there is no so Lida also you may have Lid plus uh, Lid plus uh, Dha it will become so too many Sandhi uh, will precede here which we have seen 
some sandhis we have seen in hal sandhi so they will apply and then you will get dhakara when you get two dhakaras then one dhakara undergoes lopa but this is a counter example to say that there is ru here this ru is not part of an and therefore it will not take uh, dirgha desha another example here is manas ratha manas ratha when there is a sandhi between manas pratipadika and ratha then what should happen he says ityatra rutve krute hashi cha iti utve rori lope cha prapte there is a font issue here prapte sorry separated there is this prapte manas rataha so what should happen with manas rataha he says it is rutve krute therefore manas manas and ratha manas and ratha samasa there manas and ratha what will happen he says ityatra rutve krute so manas has become manaru you have got manar plus ratha now rori rutve krute hashi cha iti utve rori lope cha prapte now rori should it undergo lopa or by uh, hashi cha hashi cha what hashi cha atorur apluta aplute therefore apluta akara is there and apruta akara is will follow is following so uh, apluta hashi cha here hashi is following hashi cha aplutad aplute is not needed aplutad is needed so aplutad hashi cha aplutad ro ho this is a ru re fa which is preceded by an apluta and is followed by a hash hashi cha so hashi cha utve utva should be done so refa should take utva desha or should it take rori by rori it should take refa should take lopa or utva desha which should it take because both are applicable now he says there is a uh, there is a paribhashika sutra i'll just cover the sutra this is a complicated sutra but here i'll just cover we'll see the uh, effect of this sutra elsewhere i don't want to go into details of this sutra i just want to explain this sutra vipratishede param karyam this is a paribhashika sutra which says that when this vipratisheda what is this vipratisheda vipratisha is that when there is tulya he says tulya bala virodhe param karyam syat param karya is the adesha there vipratishede vipratishede sati when there is a case of vipratisheda param karyam param karyam is later karya whichever is the later sutra that should apply now among rori and hashi cha which is the later sutra hashi cha is in 6th 6th chapter rori is in the tripadi 8th chapter obviously rori is later therefore param karyam and what is vipratisheda vipratisheda is not just uh, to to our prapta tulya bala virodha they should be tulya bala virodha means tulya balo viroda means that both sutra should have their independent area of application now hashi cha has an uh, has a has an area of application where uh, rori also has a specific area of application so rori will be pravrutta even if there is no at hashi cha is pravrutta only when there is at so although rori refa re refa pare that refa is a part of hash still hashi cha is applicable also when there is at and other than refa hash are following so let's compare the sutras you have hashi cha hashi cha on one hand and you on the other hand you have rori rori so hashi cha hashi cha what is the adesha uta adesha and what should proceed here apluta apluta at aplutad atah what about rori lopa is the adesha forget adesha lopa is the adesha uta adesha and lopa adesha you forget but is this re refa part of hash or not however at it is part of refa is part of hash therefore there is what follows is common between the two there is a subset refa is a subset of hash so lopah bhavati rori but 
is there a condition rory does it have what should precede there is no condition so at at means that which precedes here you have a broader case you here you have broader case of what follows hash is broader than re so therefore what follows in hashicha is broad but what precedes is only at at or apluta any other apluta but in this sutra what precedes anything can precede no condition therefore the condition of what precedes in rori is quite vast but what follows is limited here what precedes is limited what follows is vast therefore other than refa if something follows here which is part of hash then this sutra has a pravritti it has an application what about rori rori also has an application elsewhere when anything precedes and refa follows anything precedes means other than at when other than at something precedes also apluta at then also rori has an application therefore it has an independent field of application that is what is tulya bala bala virodha so tulya bala virodha means what they have their independent areas of applications as well now there is an overlap overlap is what this hash refa is part of hash and in our case this manorath manar ratha the refa rori is applicable since this at is preceding therefore refa is a hash so re and hashi both conditions are met in these two sutras across sutras what about this a preceding refa this refa is a ru refa and therefore this apluta the roho utbhavati roho atah utbhavati apru roho aplutad aplute so hashi condition is common hashi as in re and hashi this ratha refa meets both re as well as hashi this refa this ro also deals with refa this rori raha also deals with refa but this akara akara which is here akara this akara is at and at here there is no condition so anything can precede here anything uh, only at apluta at precedes so the atluta at is also there now he says when two contradictory sutras are there one gives an utadesha the other gives a refa adesha then uh, here not uh, ro, uh, raha it is uh, raha is the adesha here so raha is the adesha here here there is what adesha is there there is a and this manar refa is what this is ru refa therefore ru refa here should take utadesha so one is giving utadesha the other is giving refa adesha raha so which adesha should we apply here sorry no, not uh, uh, refa sorry lopa adesha so lopa raha uh, refa sya lopa adesha so in one case you will have to elide this ru refa in other case you will have to take a, uh, take away ru and give it a utadesha so which should you apply so now he says there is this vipratishede param karyam by param karyam this being in sixth chapter hashicha vipratishede param karyam rori should apply and ro by rori you will have to elide this refa if you elide this refa what form will you get you should get mana ratha and this like puna what we saw earlier that akara takes dirgha here puna ramate or uh, so not punar uh, punaramate so similarly here you will get manaratha but what is the form manoratha so there what is happening is that the rori even if you apply rori by vipratishede param karyam what will happen is that this sixth chapter sutra atur or apluta aplute cannot see this sutra as effect at all so even if you where to apply this vipratishede param karyam rori refa lopa lopa is not seen what is seen this refa will be seen raha lopa bhavati in 8th chapter but tripadi karya cannot be seen by the 6th chapter therefore this raha refa alone is seen here even if you it undergoes lopa by vipratishide param karyam 
this fellow Hashicha will not be able to see that and it will still have application and it will create uh, uh, Utadesha which means what you apply Utadesha but not Lopadesha this Rori is Prapta by Vipratishede Paramkaryam but since it is in Tripadi and its effects cannot be seen by Hashicha therefore Hashicha will have Pravrutti here and thereby it will take Utadesha and once it takes Utadesha you will get the form Mana, Mana, U and then Ratha thereby then Adgunaha you will get Mano Ratha and that is the form Mano Ratha. So although uh, Vipratishede Paramkaryam Sutra is covered here, he is saying it is not applicable here. This is by Hashicha and this is by Adgunaha. So we will stop here. Uh, I wanted to finish this but then uh, there were too many uh, dangling issues in many of these, uh, in many other sutras and uh, some ideas which we have not seen earlier. So I had to mention that and I took a little more time, sorry. Vritavasane Nataraja Rajo Nana Dhadakkano Panchavaram Uddhar Tukama Sanaka Disidhaneta Vimarshe Shiva Sutra Jalam. Any questions? This Kalyan. Can you hear me? Do you have, did you have a question, Kalyanji? No, I just wanted to clarify uh, why did I ask Ashan was because you were explaining the uh, uh, Vartika there, no? In that particular uh, Sanjeev you were explaining. No, no, not Vartika. No, no, then what was that uh, the other example that you took after? I think you uh, joined the class late. You okay, okay. Yeah, but then perhaps. Yeah, huh? yeah, okay, okay. Then let me listen to it first and then yeah, I Yeah, just go back. through it because I don't want to repeat the whole idea again. I just I wanted mean, to uh, explain what is uh, there, uh, what would be the Adesha, the difference between Ru and uh, Repha. Okay, so I, the I difference between Ru and Repha, I wanted to clarify. Although the content of both is Repha, uh, hmm. content of both is only Repha for Adesha. Yeah. But why um, Ru is treated differently, Ru Repha is different from the Plain Repha. Okay, I'll, I'll read. I'll go through the class. Yeah, if you have yeah, still okay. doubts, then you can ask me tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. Namaste.